fast. But hopefully the quality is better than yesterday. <laughs> Couple of little mosquitoes. Couple of little mosquitoes. the wind behind us. There's not really a lot of spots you can go with short. That's why we jumped on that last opportunity, right? We got a long way to go today. It's very difficult to find a spot to go ashore, isn't it? But there's not really... There's not really a lot of spots where you feel like you can go ashore. Should have brought the fishing rod, I think. I'll give that a try. I'll throw it aboard the boat tonight and try it tomorrow. It's a perfect habitat though for animals because there's so much going on, right? So much foliage and plants and shelter. So you really would expect to see quite a diversity. Uh, but the forest itself looks like it's dying, don't it? The trees are all really brittle. We used to do this, there's a bird up there. It looks like a robin. No. I see red breast too. Yeah, he's got the red breast. So that's all three of the birds that we saw were red breast. I don't know what they are exactly, I have to look it up but you're probably not getting a good picture. And he's scooting 10 feet at a time, 20 feet at a time. Then he's hopping around on a few rocks, tree the bushes, and he's floating down about 20 feet at a time. You gotta remember to keep an eye on the, on the dip while I'm going into these places. And he's just staying ahead of me. He's probably not happy. He's checking everything. He's looking for food. That's what he's up to. He's foraging, eh? And he's not finding nothing. I'm not seeing any... He's looking under rocks, looking under ledges. That's what he was up to. He's hunting. I'm assuming he's an, e he's an insect eater because he's on the shoreline, right? So that's what they were up to. They're full foraging. They're covering a huge amount of territory. Now I don't know if the boat is disturbed or something, but I don't think so. Because when we were in the forest just now, we didn't see any insects. 
mosquitoes, that's not enough to feed a bird. But that's definitely what he's up to. He's looking on the, he's going on the ledges, he's going on the rocks. He's looking for anything, and he's covering a huge territory. He's covered a huge territory he's right there now. He's moving constantly, eh? Now he's gone up in the forest. But we'll see, but uh, by the end of summer we'll have a consensus on what actually species are here. And a bunch of, um, we're gonna do a huge amount of freshwater places. The thing is, you gotta travel big distances to get to these places. So you're traveling long distances, you're burning a lot of fuel just getting here and getting back. And while you're here, you're not, it's not too bad because you're just... There's a little bird with a white on her breast. That was awesome. So he's the first one that we've seen is not like... Not the red breast. He was a small, half the size. But kind of a, a, I couldn't get a good look, but it looked like white breast. White, white feathers on his breast. I'm just gonna I'll hit this on the way back. I wanna move up uh, there's still about three and a half kilometers to go. And it's supposed to be really nice the rest of the afternoon. You see the blue sky in the distance. It's coming towards me. The wind's coming towards me. It's a really blue sky in the distance. I'm definitely going to get some sunshine. There's not supposed to be much wind. shooting for 48 minutes, might as well keep going. Just for posterity's sake, it doesn't matter, I don't think to anybody, but uh, it's good quality, so when I put it up online, at least it's good quality. It's not super good, but better than yesterday. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, what have we got there? Is that a crow? I think that's a crow by himself. That's the first crow we've seen up there. There's no birds on the highway coming here. I took the highway. There's no um, there's no migratory birds in the sky. We're in the biggest migratory seabird migratory route on the entire planet. There's 46 million migratory birds a year. And so you would expect some to show up here, just get lazy. They've been doing it for millions of generations, right? So some of them might have adapted for the fresh water, especially like the mallards and ducks. Oh, I just hit a rock. Just hit a rock. Nice fucking move, Dana. We didn't hit him fast anyway. And I got no time to play here. I gotta get started up. Get out of this little spot. Pay attention now, though.
But when you're going so slow, I don't see doing any damage, like significant damage. I'm not gonna like bust the leg open or, or wreck the prop. You might have to. Um, you might have to get some burrs out of the prop. We got the equipment for that. I do, however, think I'm going to go into this one. Everything looks good. I can see the blue sky getting closer. I should have waited to shoot the video. We got some nice calm water in here. Let's go in here for sure. Yeah, here comes the blue skies. I'm surprised you didn't see that rock back there. As soon as we get in here, um, we'll be under the wind. The wind's coming off the shore towards us. The wind's coming from the direction we're pointed. But uh, when I get a little bit closer, you can see the water. It makes it a little harder to see any rocks when there's wind. Yes, yeah, so we got up early this morning, got down, cut the hardware shop when it opened, got fiberglass, got square plugs, something else I can't remember. $90 anyway. Uh, and then um, beat it home, and then, to, I don't know if we... Yeah, we're not leaking water. I fixed the leak by the looks of it. I forgot to check. Getting pretty complacent here. We got a good anchor too. The plan was to uh, do some fishing. I forgot to bring the fishing rods. Yesterday I forgot to bring the extra water. So I had a big tumbler full of ice and water. And then when I drank that, I had two other containers for water, right? And I have one, one for tea. I got the tea, but I forgot the two waters. <laughs> I don't really want to drink this water. I have a uh, chlorine dioxide, but I didn't bring it with me to sterilize anything. I'm not in uh, I don't I'm not really interested in getting beaver fever. Probably too close for a long shaft. I'll learn. The more rocks I hit, the more I'll learn. <laughs> but I'm only doing it because I want the camera to pick up as much as it can.
So there's not really a lot of birds, that's for sure. No spider webs in the forest. None on the shoreline. There's no beak insects. There's no horse flies, no dragon flies. Not seeing any um, small hummingbirds or anything like that. Not seeing any flowers. Not seeing any bees or wasps. I haven't seen any dragonflies. And the big dragonflies, you know, the, the combat insect who eats, all, eats other insects. If you see them, that's a good indication there's at least a few insects around, right? And then insect eating birds, if there was insects here, you would see the insect eating birds. And the ones we've seen are the same species. And they're traveling long distances. And they're searching on their ledges. And they're searching um, for long distances. And you're not really seeing any uh, pouncing on stuff, right? And we're not seeing anything that they would feed on. Well, I'm pretty happy we got no leak in the boat today. That'd be kind of fun. If, uh, no leak better. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's not many colors, is it? I can see some picture plants right there. But I mean, there really isn't any any flowers on the trees. There's no pollen, no nothing for anything to pollinate. Flowers coming up on the right hand side. That's a good one. I'm looking for my phone. <laughs> we're, we're viewing in that for video. I was starting to panic because I couldn't find my phone. <laughs> I got it in my hand. Yeah, the, the brain is sometimes the first thing to go, eh? Oh, we got some uh, white flowers here. That's not enough. There's no, there's not enough to sustain. There's some pink flowers there. There's not enough. We're not seeing enough flowers to sustain a bee's nest or something. Even though I think we did when we were sure in that forest. I do believe we've seen a bee. I didn't see him, but he he flew past my head. He, 
he was saying B as he went past me. There's a bit more flowers here though. So you might see some pollinators. Beautiful little place to explore though, that's for sure. And so now we got a baseline. Seems something, I don't know, it didn't look like a bird. Could have been a rabbit. No, I think it's a bird. Trying to get myself into trouble. Trying to get myself in trouble. That kind of shoreline looks like the shoreline you can get up close to, eh? Whenever you see rocks, big rocks, it usually means it's deep here. And it is so perfect. You gotta have extra set of eyes in your head. See old muscle shells, but I'm not seeing when you look down. I don't know if you notice it. in here. Let's go in here, I guess. Let's see if I can get a bit closer, though. The problem is I can't put this in reverse because it'll, it'll stall on me, right? So we've got to conquer that somewhere in the next few days. See those white flowers? That's That's the only color we're seeing, isn't it? There's one little spot where we've seen a bit of pink. 
I haven't seen any berries on anything. There's lots of uh, I didn't bring my spare motor with me today, so... Must have been too low RPM, I guess. I'm not used to running a motor with the choke on, right? I thought for sure if I changed the spark plugs, because they were pretty black, that would, if not fix it, make a big difference. Nice place. Let's go in and explore this and then we'll, um, we'll see. And there's, when we get up here, there'll be no wind. This is really moose territory too, right here. No, no birds in the sky, there's no seagulls, no crows. We've seen one crow though, but that's not really crows. Maybe we'll find a spot up here we can go ashore in. So you can see the pink flowers and the white ones. But that's it. When we were up walking around in the forest, there was no color whatsoever. Nothing. The little gimbals, though, they sure help, don't they? They sure help give you a better picture. But I should, I should be using the big camera, so that's what I'll do the next time. Because all I was thinking about this camera was I can upload it right away. But that's the wrong way to think. I should use the big camera and upload it in raw format, right? So I made a mistake today, but. What I, what I might do is, um, when I finish shooting with this, I'll break out the beast. And uh, we'll try to shoot that in 4K. Maybe. Well, so I've definitely got no leak. Pretty confident we solved that. And then we rebuilt the... We, we rebuilt the back of the little Zodiac because it still wasn't flush, right? And I was running the motors on both sides. Now I'm just running the big one in the center. And because when I was full speed yesterday, having it on the sides, there's a rise on the side, so it's, it's the wrong height. And so it's, it's cavitating.
Way to go, Fukushima! You wrecked the entire friggin' planet. Idiots. What kills me is the industry knew this years ago this is what ultimately is gonna happen. And who knows how many reactors have melted down to hit away. Because that's all they're really good at is being scumbags. They don't give a shit about anything or anybody or the future or themselves. I just care about their, their idol, the nuclear retard industry. They really are stupid. Incredible educations, but morons. Zero common sense. And no checks and balances. And that's the worst thing can happen with an industry like this is no checks and balances, right? It's the ultimate in stupid. There's no checks and balances for nuclear. Oh look, we got some uh, water weed. Which is something I never thought about. Look at that. Some grass in the water. It should be everywhere. There's a bit there too. There's no birds in here whatsoever, is it? When I shut the engine off, I didn't hear any birds either. But I was in not a really good spot. No frogs, nothing moving, there's no predator prey interactions. They screwed everybody and everything. They proud of themselves too. They go around telling their friends and everybody they meet how they're working in the nuclear industry and they're big shots. Right this bravado has doomed everything. Is it the industry is full of fucking idiots. Literally, these are idiots. The thing is, I can't see how deep it is, right? I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. They're not going very fast. Just to get in a little bit closer and... Uh,
all the rain we had, the water's pretty high, eh? So I don't know what it's going to be like in this middle of summer when the, we don't get a lot of rain. It's getting pretty shallow. And we're all safe again. We're safe again. I've not seen many birds now, are we? We haven't seen many anyway, but uh, I'm not seeing any up in this area. Stupid nuclear. Oh, well, there's some blue skies coming. Look at that. Woo I'm gonna be perfect in the boat here. The sun's not gonna get roast me. Is it gonna roof? And so what I am gonna do though after I finish shooting this video is I'll get the the big camera and lens out and we can get some good shots of any birds so hopefully we can get some big sh good shots of any birds we come across I gotta admit though I'm pretty grateful to be here doing this this is the only way we're going to get documentation, right? Right now we're at least getting a baseline. And over the spring and summer, because it's still spring here. Summer doesn't start till the middle of July or so. And they have a long, a late summer here. Because it starts late, right? And so getting a baseline is a big deal. Yeah, well, typically when you see rocks looking like that on the shoreline, it's pretty deep. So that's a good sign. I'm going to bring the fishing rod with me next time. There is nothing alive, is it? Literally nothing alive. If you shipwrecked here, you starved it. Yet. There's no berries. That's the crazy stuff. There's not even berries. There's 